I would like to mention that I use two different programs to record audio. So one part, um, the clicks sound very loud, and I sound like I'm on some kind of Zoom call. <laughs> Just gonna be a little weird. I'm, sh I'm gonna try to figure it out before the next video. So hopefully, the next video is better. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are in Aurora Falls. Not Aurora Crafts, but Aurora Falls. And today I don't have much plans, at least right now. But I think in this episode, we might work on the outside. I said I was going to do that. Um, but another plan is to go mining. I'm planning on getting diamonds for diamond armor, tools, you know, all that stuff. And then probably a bunch of iron for various things. Um, the thing is, I'll only be doing it with iron pickaxe, not like enchanted diamond tools. So I think I'm going to spend two hours on it. Hopefully I'll get enough diamonds to make a full set of tools and armor. Off camera, I cooked some potatoes and grew some more. Pretty sure I have like stacks of them now. Um, so as you can see my potato farm. Wait, what happened? Um, I mean I, I could show you this. <laughs> I really did a lot of work on it. I, I have Caden on the farm while I was playing other games. And oh, the heck, my horse was covering up this lever. Ah, nice. So, I didn't make this. Somebody else did. That's really nice. I think I'm going to get on with mining. So I'm going to take a pretty good amount of my iron, make it all into pickaxes, to serve me two hours of mining. Now I have the replay mod working, so you can all see a time lapse of the dig. Okay, so I'm back from mining. Um, it's actually been two weeks since I recorded that last part. <laughs> um, in my two hours of mining, I actually didn't get a lot. I only got 27, which I would normally get more, but I'll have to deal with this for now. Um, I can at least make some armor. And I can also make a pickaxe, um, but I won't make any tools yet because I'd rather get enchantments before I get that stuff. So my plan now, I don't think I'm going to work on the outside of my base yet. I think I'm going to work on some kind of farm. My plan is make a gigantic tree farm somewhere in the mountains over there. I'm going to keep all my farms away from my base, so it's not too laggy at my base. And I think I'm also going to start a sugarcane farm because that's what everybody does. Um, but also, with sugarcane, I think I'm going to make some maps. I think I'm going to make maps for the whole area with all the bases included. And that'll take a lot of maps and a lot of item frames. So I think I'm going to make a, a public map or one by the spawn, and that's going to update. But then I'm going to have ones in some sort of cave around here, and I'm going to lock the maps and have like progressive maps of the spawn area. So I think I'm going to get along with the map thing first, because that might take a while. I mean, both things are going to take a while, but NRT said I could borrow some of his sugarcane, so we'll go over there. 
And this thing is partly why I want to make some farms. This is the new trading hall. There's a little station set up for everyone. And you can kind of put stuff down in a plot. Um, I don't know how big the spaces are. Looks like people have really claimed big spaces. I think these are the available spaces. So yeah, this is where I'll, I think I'm going to put my tree farm stuff in. So we're heading back to the base, but I just remembered, I think we need compasses for maps. <laughs> and if so, these, totally forgot. Um, it's going to cost a lot of iron. <laughs> Because I want a map of this whole area with smaller maps so it's more detailed. So yeah, this might be a little expensive. Oh yeah, I'll definitely need a lot more than that. Um, I probably should have kept some of the sugarcane <laughs> before I made that all into paper, but I can make 13 maps. So hopefully that can do a little bit. And then I need to get stuff for item frames, which I don't have either. So I'll have to do a little bit of resource gathering. Okay, so I've gotten the materials to make part of the board. And I think I'm going to start with my base. I'm going to expand outward that way towards Pokey's base. And I don't know if anybody's over there, but <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. And there's supposed to be somewhere I can place these maps at spawn. I don't know if I saw anything, but I might just put it on the floor. But yes, I will do this map thing right now. Okay, I've made the map. <laughs> Took a little while putting all the pieces together. It's like some sort of puzzle. The rivers helped, but right now it's definitely not the full map. Um, but I think I got everybody's base in. Um, there's some bases farther away that I haven't gotten to, but I'll get to those sometime else. But if they're too far away, I might not even map them out. But yeah, I'll keep this here for now. But now I'm gonna work on my tree farm. Now, I think I'm gonna get to the last thing, which is going to start making the tree farm. And my idea is make layers, and each layer has a different tree on it. Um, they're gonna be really big square and hopefully I can fit a lot of trees in there but I think I'm gonna make it out of cobblestone just since I have a bunch of it if I need more it'll be pretty easy to get more later on I might make a automatic tree farm but for now I don't really want to do that so I'm just gonna make a massive manual uh, tree farm so the area I'm thinking is just on top of these mountains. Um, I'd rather not like dig into the mountain to make it flat, but I also don't want a floating platform. I don't want it floating. Okay, there's actually like no land back here. I thought uh, there's that stuff over there, but I'm still gonna make it over here though. I think I'm gonna make it over over this river, kind of just in this area, kind of wedged in here. And it will be a floating platform, but I'll have like support under it to make it look realistic. So I'm gonna get onto that and I'll show a time lapse, I think. And that'll be the last thing for our video.
So I finished up the tree farm, at least one level. Um, I'm gonna do spruce for this level, just because that's what I had. And yeah, I think this is gonna give me a lot of wood if I AFK here for a little bit. Um, it's a nine by nine, so there's like 81 trees, I think. So that's a good amount of trees. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out one of my other videos of Aurora Falls. And I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.